How do you get to a character's emotional truth as a writer? I used to really struggle with finding characters' emotional truths. And the reason why that was is because I had not found my emotional truth. Um, when you're in the hamster wheel of trying to make content and all you're doing is creating and you're not living, it's hard for you to really connect to yourself. And so um, after I got to New York and I really kind of started to settle my life, I started to travel a lot more and make sure that I started to have experiences and I started to engage in my own personal growth. And so then when I found my own personal growth and who I was, I was able to, in, in an interesting way, tap into that emotional truth for a character. And that emotional truth for me is defined as what the character wants to truly believe about himself but nothing in the world is saying this is such. So for instance, a young filmmaker who really wants to be a filmmaker, but their universe is telling them that you're not a filmmaker. That is their emotional truth, that they want to be a filmmaker. And I think the journey of a, of a story, whether it's a short story or a film or a play, is how to get that character to believe in the truth that's already beating in their heart. So that's how I think that you get to a character's emotional truth is to find out what it is inside of them that really gets their blood moving, that gets their heart um, rate up, that gets them, gives them purpose to get out of the bed. That is what their emotional truth is. So the world is telling them they're one thing, but that's not what they feel inside. That's not what they feel inside. And for many of us, that's that's the reality. <laughs> you know, we're like wanting to build this business, but the world is saying you don't have the credit score or you're in the wrong city to do that or you're not capable of doing that. And then you to be able to overcome all of those eyes to get what you feel that you're supposed to have is where I think the story really is. Are there certain films that really hit home for you that do that? One of the, one of the stories I think is Moonlight that does that beautifully because his ultimate emotional truth is he deserved to be loved, that he was worthy of love and belonging. And where he was gonna get that, Black didn't know. You know, he just didn't know where he was gonna get that from. And then you see, especially when he gets to the third act, he's so calcified from the world that he has quarantined himself off. All he does is work out and he does all these drug deals in order to make money. Again, a very dangerous way to exist because he had come through the prison system. But then when he meets up with the guy at the very end and he starts to break down that you are worthy of love because he saw somebody cook for him in a very loving way. He saw somebody have a conversation with him. So I love Moonlight as one of the greatest examples of a character finding their emotional truth, even if it was just subtle and at the very end. What about a play? Yeah, so my favorite play um, that illustrates emotional truth would probably be um, the Mountaintop by Katori Hall. She did a play that's about um, Martin Luther King and Kamei, which is um, a woman who was working in the hotel that he was staying in, and this is the night before his murder. And so the emotional truth that um, Martin Luther King was trying to come to in that piece is, I'm prepared to die. Like, I'm ready for this death. But again, the, when he shows up into this hotel room, this woman is talking about how much he's needed, how much he's leading these organizations and how much how important he is to the movement, which tells him that he's not necessarily done here. So to see that exploration in the course of that, which was a two hour, two person play, which was phenomenal, again, was another way of me being able to see how someone gets to their emotional truth that was totally different from the way that it was done in like Moonlight. And sorry, it is based on a real life character? That Martin happened. Luther King, yeah. No, but at the, the, uh, the hotel, yeah. No, so she's totally oh. fictionalized. It's a fictionalized example of what he experienced the night before. And it is a stellar piece of theater. Interesting. It is oh. stellar. Yep. Wow. So he knew, he knew it was coming he knew. because the COINTELPRO and all the different things. That he knew. Were I think you, you always know. I think you always know. I think you know when it's time to move on. I think you know when it's time to stay. I think you know when it's time to deal with something that you don't need to really want to deal with. I think the universe always tells you those messages and those signs. Or in uh, Martin Luther King's case, when it was time for him to die. I think he knew. I think we always know.